Tectonic plates are huge pieces of the Earth's outer shell, called a lithosphere, that move around on the Earth's surface. These plates are so large that they can cover entire continents or oceans. The movement of tectonic plates is one of the most important processes that shape our planet, and learning about them helps us understand how mountains, earthquakes, and volcanoes are formed. The Earth is made up of several layers. The outermost layer is called a crust, and it is made up of these tectonic plates. Beneath the crust is the mantle, which is a layer of hot, semi-solid rock that flows slowly over time. The movement of the mantle, caused by heat from the Earth's core, causes the tectonic plates to move very slowly, about the same speed that your fingernails grow. Even though the plates move slowly, their movement has a huge impact on the surface of the Earth. There are seven major tectonic plates, and many smaller ones. The largest tectonic plate is the Pacific Plate, which covers much of the Pacific Ocean. Other major plates include the North American Plate, the Eurasian Plate, and the African Plate. These plates fit together like pieces of a puzzle, but they don't stay in the same place. They are always moving in different directions. The movement of tectonic plates happens in three main ways. Divergent boundaries. This is when two plates move away from each other. As the plates separate, new crusts can form between them, which can create things like mid-ocean ridges, where underwater mountains are built. Convergent boundaries. This is when two plates collide or move toward each other. When this happens, one plate may be pushed underneath the other, causing mountains to form or sometimes volcanoes. This is also how deep ocean trenches are created. Transform boundaries. This is when two plates slide past each other horizontally. When plates move past each other like this, it can cause earthquakes. One famous example of this is the San Andreas Fault in California, where two plates are moving in opposite directions, causing the ground to shake. The movement of tectonic plates is responsible for creating many of the Earth's most famous landforms. For example, the Himalayas, the tallest mountain range in the world, were formed when the Indian plate collided with the Eurasian plate. Volcanoes, like those in Hawaii, are also formed when tectonic plates move and cause magma from a mantle to rise to the surface. Tectonic plate movement also causes earthquakes. When two plates push against each other and then suddenly move, the energy that is released can cause the ground to shake. Earthquakes happen most often along the edges of tectonic plates, where the plates are either colliding, sliding, or pulling apart. In some cases, the movement of tectonic plates can also lead to volcanic eruptions, where molten rock from deep inside the Earth escapes through cracks in the crust. Tectonic plates and their movements are part of a process called plate tectonics, which is a theory that explains how the Earth's surface is constantly changing. Plate tectonics helps us understand how the Earth's continents have moved over millions of years and how new landforms continue to form. It also explains why some areas of the Earth experience more earthquakes and volcanic activity than others.